Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Joe Thompson in the WNWO Weather Center and yes, the digging out process will now begin across the region. As expected, this turned out to be a pretty good doozy of a snowstorm that worked its way on through. Let's show you the satellite and radar, a 12 hour loop of it that goes from 4 a, or excuse me, 5 a.m. Saturday morning to 5 p.m. this afternoon and basically that entire time we had snow falling across the region. It wasn't a particularly heavy snow. It was light to moderate, but very, very persistent. And because of that, things really added up. A lot of places reporting around a half foot of snowfall, including around the Toledo metro area. The snowstorm is going to start to make its way out of our region as we go through the rest of our Saturday night. Still can't rule out maybe another inch or two before eight or nine o'clock before the system entirely exits a region and then heads up into New England and it's going to dump a bunch of snow in places such as Pennsylvania, New York and over towards Boston and New York City as well. So this storm definitely packing a punch for millions of people across the eastern half of the United States, but we're nearing the end here of the snowstorm for us. So again, the snow will be tapering off, especially once we get past around 9 p.m. Saturday evening. It is going to be a chilly night, though. Temperatures falling back into the teens. Expect cloudy skies through the rest of the overnight hours. Sunday, we're done with the accumulating snow, but you may still see a few flakes from time to time in the form of some spotty snow flurries. Otherwise, it's going to be a cloudy and blustery day. Temperatures only reaching the low to mid 20s and we expect gusts up to 25 miles per hour out of the west. So that is going to lead to some blowing and drifting of all of that fresh snow on the ground that could lead to some slick spots still on the roadway. So still be watching out if you're going to be out in the roadways, but the road should be much better Sunday compared to where they are Saturday afternoon, which are very slushy and very treacherous across the region. But all in all, a very cold finish to the weekend. Wind chills for Sunday will likely be in the single digits at times once you factor in those gusty winds out of the west. As we go into Monday, the daylight hours are looking dry, but it will be cold looking at a high of just 19 degrees. And then Monday night into early Tuesday morning, an Alberta Clipper will be painting its way on through. That's going to bring more light snow to our area. It's going to be nothing like the storm we just had, but still some light accumulations of a half inch up to an inch will be possible, just enough to make those roadways slippery once again. We do dry out by Tuesday afternoon. Temperatures getting back into the upper 20s for your Tuesday and Wednesday. And then as we go through Thursday, a warm front will be lifting through. And with that front, we could see some drizzle. That's rain drizzle for your Thursday night night as temperatures will be holding pretty steady through the 30s as we go through Thursday and Thursday night. And as we head into Friday, we're looking at highs in the low to mid 40s. However, another large storm system will be making its way on through. So we're expecting all rain as we go through the day on Friday. They may end up melting a substantial amount of the snowpack that is now on the ground across the region. However, it could get pretty messy as we go into the weekend before Christmas as yet another wave of low pressure will be swinging its way on through. It could start off as a wintry mix for Saturday and depending on the exact track of the storm, we're going to have to keep an eye on it because on Sunday, as colder air wraps in, we may see a pretty good transition over to snow. Again, there's a lot of uncertainty in the exact track of the storm. The difference of 40 or 50 miles could make all the difference between whether we see maybe some significant snowfall once again or maybe more in the way of a rain snow wind treat mix. And then after that, it does look like temperatures will drop back once again to the 20s as we head into Monday and Tuesday, and of course Tuesday is Christmas Eve. So the initial indications are a dry but cold Christmas is on tap, but it still looks like a very active week of weather is ahead. That's a look at your forecast. I'm meteorologist Joe Thompson. Thanks for logging on to NorthwestOhio.com.